Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're trying Banquet's new Sesame Chicken Lo Mein Mega Bowl, which is tempura white meat chicken fritters topped with sweet sesame sauce and vegetables over lo mein noodles. This 13.5 ounce meal for one costs $2.18. These are big meals for big appetites. Sometimes you just need more. Classic dishes, bold flavor. Now the term chicken fritters tells you that the chicken is a four beef slurry concoction. Then you have the sweet sesame sauce, the vegetables, and the lo mein noodles. And by just looking at the picture of the noodles, I'm willing to bet they're spaghetti noodles. Well, we're gonna find out in a minute whether they're spaghetti noodles or lo mein noodles. Although spaghetti and lo mein noodles look almost identical, they're not the same. Spaghetti noodles are made with durum semolina and water. Lo mein noodles are made with finer milled wheat flour, water, and eggs. Even though that I think spaghetti noodles and lo mein noodles taste and feel different, I for one have used spaghetti in the place of lo mein. They're not exactly the same, but they work in a pinch. Here's the hearty ingredient list, and I really love the format that Banquet used to break the ingredients down. This way, you can tell exactly what's in what. See, even Banquet knows the lo mein isn't lo mein. The noodle ingredients are water, enriched pasta. Wait a minute, I thought it was lo mein. But right there, they tell you it's pasta. And that is correct. You see the durum wheat semolina? That's what pasta's made out of, not the fine milled wheat flour. And then finally, there's the ingredients for the four meat slurry concocted chicken fritters. The whole banquet sesame chicken and lo mein mega bowl has 570 calories, 11 grams of total fat, two grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,900 milligrams of sodium, 97 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fiber, 31 grams of sugars, and 21 grams of protein. Here we have another meal with almost a full day's worth of sodium. And that could be very dangerous for someone with a health condition who may not take the time to read the nutrition facts. Quick, convenient, and ready in minutes. You can only heat these up in the microwave and the meal contains breaded chicken. So that right there should be a no-no. Breaded chicken or any other meat doesn't usually turn out very well in a microwave. So let's get our mega bowl out of the box and heat it up. And there's what you can expect right out of the box. Which brings me to a question. Do you have a food that you loved as a kid, but now that you're an adult, you simply can't even imagine eating it? Well, I have one of those foods and it's peas. I used to absolutely love peas and could eat them right out of the can. But now when I see a pea, I don't even want to think about eating one. But in this case, I'm going to do it. For you, the people, so you don't have to. Do you have a food you loved as a kid, but can't stand it now that you're all grown up? If you do, let me know in the comments what it is. Now our Mega Bowl goes into the microwave for three minutes, and there's no need to vent the plastic. After microwaving for three minutes, it's time to open it up and give it a stir. Now minus the peas, it doesn't look that bad at this point. But notice the spaghetti is getting a bit brown and crispy, which doesn't really bother me a bit, but it might bother you. Before we mixed it up, we checked on a piece of chicken. And it's pretty much exactly how I thought it would be. Now give it a good mix to make everything happy. Then replace the plastic film and microwave for another two to three minutes until the chicken reaches 165 degrees. After heating for a total of five and a half minutes, our sesame chicken and lo mein mega bowl is ready to enjoy. We gave it one more mix, then went in for a piece of chicken. And unfortunately, the breading was obviously so soggy, it wouldn't even stay on the chicken. Definitely not good for something that's supposed to be crispy. Now the texture of the chicken itself wasn't actually too bad at all, which makes me want to make a suggestion in the banquet to stop breading the chicken when the application you're using it in does not work. The flavor of the sauce was good, not overly sweet, and it had a very subtle hint of heat. And with 1900 milligrams of sodium, you'd think it'd be salty, but it's not at all. Then we tried the lo mein, which is really spaghetti, along with the vegetables and the devil peas. Like I said, I'm only trying the peas for you, the people, so you don't have to. 
it was finally time for a bite of everything, with the spaghetti, the chicken, the vegetables, and the sauce, which honestly was all pretty good together, minus the soggy breading on the chicken. The overall flavor of the meal was good and pretty enjoyable. The faux lo mein was also fine with me. But Banquet needs to call it what it is, spaghetti. No matter how much lipstick you put on a pig, it's still a pig. And the same goes with spaghetti and lo mein. Well, not the lipstick part, but you know what I mean. The chicken itself without the breading, and even being a four meat slurry concocted fritter thingamajig, was also good. The breading is the one real downfall of this meal. Take the breading off the chicken, and it turns a good meal into a really good meal. Last but not least, it's a pretty good amount of food for $2.18, so for the price, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. And one more last thing, the amount of sodium and sugars are very high. So if you have a health condition that limits sodium and sugars, you probably should avoid this meal. Which is why I'm giving Banquet Sesame Chicken and Lo Mein Mega Bowl a 6 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon.